Good afternoon folks, this is Marius from MariusLandman.com and today we've got a real exciting video for you. Many of you have asked me how do I set up my Excel spreadsheet and how do I connect my Excel spreadsheet to CoinMarketCap so that I can keep track of all the profits that I make, which basically then just comes down to that point where my mouse is now. So basically this is the Excel spreadsheet and what we want to do is to connect all our coins that we buy to these figures that are shown on uh, coin market cap and uh, this excel spreadsheet is a basic excel spreadsheet that i'm going to show you you don't need to make it really complicated make it simple easy to understand and of course what you can do you can take this excel spreadsheet i will keep that in the back office for you to download and you can modify that to suit yourself now number one on the left hand side you'll see here that we've got all the coins here that we bought uh, Bitcoin, OMG, Litecoin. Here is the exchange that we are using. Exchange 1, 2, 3. You may have Coinbase, Bitfinex, Binance there. And then here is the buy price of 14 August at the prices that we have bought all these different cryptos. And on this, it's going to kick us out the value. And here it will give us the percentage profit or loss that we've made. And then here it will give us the overall percentage profit. But more important, what I want to do is this thing here. Uh, where my mouse is now you can see that it shows the price of today and that column here is going to be linked to coin market cap and we're going to make that live and that is what I'm going to show you how to do that now let's quickly get into this if you if you look at the bottom here you'll see that I've got https uh, api.com uh, or coinmarketcap.com I'm going to leave that in the in the description of the video or you can just go and retype that in so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go a little bit slower just for those uh, who want to really see how we do it you're also welcome just to stop the video and see what we do on the top of your excel spreadsheet make sure that you are on data it must say data here you'll see new query a lot of the older systems in excel don't have that function in there you may have to do an update just to get that function which says new query uh, in that ribbon you'll see there's like a little uh, drop down menu there so i click on the drop down menu and uh, there's a whole bunch of different options here from file from database what i'm going to do i'm going to say uh, gather the data for me from a other source which is called from the web so i click on that and then i'm going to take this api uh, code here and i'm going to put that in there and i'm going to leave it on basic i'm not going to click advance and i'm just going to say okay find the data for me now we just simply wait it's going to, going to bring up the data and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave that data as query one you can rename it something else if you want um, or just leave it whatever it is i'm going to click here on list very important that you just click on list because you want the data to be listed and you want uh, the Excel to convert your list data into a table. Now I'm going to click on this one here where it says convert into a table. So I'm clicking that list and I say convert into table. Again, I'm not going to change any information here. No need to change anything there, but I want it to show me if there are any errors. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go back. You'll see that I've got here ABC123. Again, you can rename that if you want. I'm going to leave mine as query number six. And I'm going to click on these two arrows here to say expand that. And you'll find all this data that you gathered now from CoinMarketCap, which is the ID, the name, the symbol, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not going to take that out. You are welcome to take some data out that you don't want. Like if you don't want the total supply, just click unch uncheck that box and it won't come up. But I'm going to say, OK, leave that in there. So now it brings me up this table and I'm going to say close and load. Now it's going to close and load and you'll see here on the bottom, I've got an other uh, extra sheet that came up and I'm going to click on that sheet and I'm going to rename that as coin market cap, which will be the name of that sheet. Now I know that this is all the data that I have from coin market cap. I go here on the bottom and uh, I simply go back to my Excel spreadsheet. Now, what I want to do, I want to dump this data that I have here. I want to dump that data into this model here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do again, I take this sticker, this sticker symbol uh, that 
uh, HTTPS code. I'm going to copy that. And again, I'm going to go to data, data here on the top. I'm going to my new query. And what I'm going to say here again is from other source, which is web. Okay, from other source web. I wait till it loads. And uh, I put that code in there. But on the back of that, I am going to put in Bitcoin. And I'm going to say yes. That'll then bring up the Bitcoin data. Now, the reason that I'm creating all this extra information, I'll explain that to you shortly. I'm going to click on record the data for me, and it's going to change it into little columns, uh, the data that I've got here. And then again, I'm going to say, uh, save that for me. And that is going to save it here on the bottom, uh, close and save, close and load, basically. And then here on the bottom, I'm going to rename this one as Bitcoin. Or let's rather make it uh, short, BTC. So now I've got BTC there, and you see that I've got the ID, I've got the name, the symbol, and more important, this. What I want is that one there. I want the price. So if you go back to this one here, CMC, which is coin market cap, you'll see that this is the ticker symbol. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, EOS, Teller, whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go back here, and I'm interested to put the data into this column here. So what I'm going to say, okay, that is Bitcoin, so I want the data of Bitcoin in here. So I'm going to say that this specific block equals Bitcoin price, which is that one, and I simply say enter. Now you can see that this is a live price for Bitcoin. Now let's go back here to Bitcoin. Now in this column here, where I'm going to click on data again, and uh, you'll see that there's a button here that says refresh. I'm going to click on the drop down menu there, and I'm going to go and say connection properties. And in this little block here, I'm going to tick and say refresh every 60 minutes and refresh data when opening the file. There we go. So now, if I go back to my model portfolio and I go here and I say refresh, and you'll see that the the price there has just changed now. And at the moment, it shows that I'm minus 93.26% on my portfolio, which is basically uh, these 16 coins that I have here. Uh, the percentage there, that is the model portfolio, uh, basically code that you can use. Obviously, if you've got 10 coins here, you take that 16 divide by 10. If you've got 30 coins, divide that by 40 or 30, rather. So let's do the second one. My second one here is OMG. So I'm going to coin market cap and I'm going to have a look and see where is OMG. Okay, now OMG is this one here. The code is or miss see go. So what I'm going to do here, we've got Bitcoin here. I go back to my model portfolio and I simply copy that link again. And I say new query from the web. Wait for that to pop up. I put that in, and on the back of that, I am going to write or missy go. And that should then bring up the data, and I do exactly the same again when the data comes up. In this formula, I'm going to click on the record. Very important, that comes up. You can see there's the data, the rank, that's the price at the moment. And I'm going to say, convert that for me into a table and I'm going to say save and close and here on the bottom you'll see it came up here spreadsheet number 18 I'm going to right click and I'm going to say um, OMG we're going to save this as OMG and uh, more important with this specific one I'm going to go back to my data again and I will click on refresh um, sorry let me just click on this one there and uh, I'm going to click on my connection properties. I'm going to say refresh that and refresh when I open the file. Now I'm going to go back to OMG. Now remember, I want to update this little block here. So what I'm going to say is that block equals, go back to this sheet here, look for the price there, the price in Bitcoin or the price in US dollar. I want the US dollar. I click on that and I say enter and the price literally comes up there. 
Okay, now you can see we've made a 7.86% year on OMG, a 7.85% so far. This shows you your profit. Uh, it doesn't show a negative value, it shows a positive value. So in that sense, we've made 7.8 and 7.86%. Now I'm going to do the same with Litecoin, just gonna show you that once, then I'm gonna stop the video and do all these quickly and then come back and show you how we progress further. So cool, um, the next one is Litecoin. Let's have a look and see what is the Litecoin um, ticker symbol. The Litecoin ticker symbol is Litecoin spelled out. So we're gonna go back here, copy that again. So I'm gonna show you this again for the third time. Make sure you are in data. Go to new query, ticker symbol down. You go right down there where it says from other source and we're gonna go to web. Now this connects directly to coin market cap. I'm going to put my coding in there and I am going to type in Litecoin enter. It brings up the Litecoin information that I need. I'm going to click on the record. Validate the data. Yes, that looks right. I'm going to say convert into table and then I'm going to say save and close. And here in the bottom, you can see sheet number 19 is now the Litecoin data. So I'm going to right click on that and say rename that to LTC. Enter. Now I'm going to click on this again. Make sure you click somewhere in this block here. I'm going to go to data again. And here under refresh, drop down menu, go to your connection properties. Make sure you tick that refresh every 60 minutes. You can put that every 10 minutes, every minute, just like you want. I find 60 minutes works really well for me and also refresh the data when I open the file and I'm gonna say, okay. Now I'm interested in this price here, the $56 for Litecoin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Marius model portfolio number three and uh, there is Litecoin. I bought 400 Litecoins and I paid $50 for that. So I wanna update all this information and eventually once I'm done with all these uh, 16 coins, I wanna see what is my percentage gain? How much money did I make? Now, the table that I wanna activate is this one. Now let's just quickly make this perhaps uh, just a little shade, uh, maybe just a, what shall we make it, a light green. Okay, so what I want to do now is Litecoin. There is Litecoin, okay, there's Litecoin. I want to have that formula insert there. So what I do, I click on that block here, I click equals, and I move the mouse over to Litecoin here on the bottom, okay. I click on Litecoin here and I go to the price of Litecoin, which is there, it's now $56 and I press enter on the keyboard and you can see that it's just dumped that in and so far on Litecoin I've made 12%. Now you can see all these coins were bought at the same time and Litecoin literally outperformed Bitcoin. Exactly what we said in the beginning of the year. As we get to later stages, we said that Litecoin is going to outperform Bitcoin, break loose and uh, it's gonna go to extremely high uh, points. Now, let's just quickly take one more uh, before I will stop the video. Let's have a look at Ethereum. So I'm looking at Ethereum here, Ethereum, there's the code, okay? So what I'm gonna do, go back to the model portfolio and again go to data, we'll do one more. We go down here to, from web, oh, sorry, I must, let me just quickly copy that. So I'm gonna go query uh, from other sources from the web. Now sometimes if you, if you type in, for example, ETH, which is the code for Ethereum, it's not gonna go and pick it up, okay? So what you really need to do is uh, just type in Ethereum and uh, the, always go back to your coin market cap and see what they are using and type that exact code in. Now here you can see it's brought that in. I'm gonna click on This preview may be 13 days old, so I'm gonna click on the report. Um, I'm gonna say convert that into table, save and close. And here on the bottom, you'll see that now we've got, that's just updated now. So I'm gonna right click here, rename that, and that will be ETH. So I click on that. Uh, now remember, I'm clicking in this block here, and I'm gonna go back here and say, go to the connection properties, make that 60 minutes and refresh when I open this file. 
I go back here to my front page, which is the model portfolio number three. And uh, I bought 145 uh, Ethereum uh, cryptos. Uh, they at a price of 254. And I want to work out what is the percentage gain here that I have made. So what I'm going to do simply now with this, very simple. I'm just going to click in equals the Ethereum price in US dollars and I click enter on the keyboard and it brings that up and it shows me at this point that I've made a 16% loss on Ethereum. Now Ethereum is a really terrible coin, it's doing very badly at the moment, but uh, nonetheless we do believe that it is going to come back and um, make some really stellar gains. There's just a lot of really bad news on Ethereum. So let me stop the video here and I will quickly get into the other coins. I'll do Neo and all that and come back once all that is done. Okay. So yes, guys, I have just finished all the values. I've put all that in here. You can see we've got Bitcoin, OMG. Um, if you go down all those levels, you can see this corresponds now to on the bottom where we've got Bitcoin, OMG, Litecoin, Ethereum, Neo, uh, Stellar, Qtum, EOS. All these coins that I bought are based here. Now, the average that it's kicked out is 4.96% profit. Okay, obviously these figures are just incorrect. I can probably just say equal that to that. Um, and the on the 4.95 or 4.96 percent gain of my $24,000 profit and my total value is 512,000. So you can see of my $24,000 profit. Now the coins that are doing bad are the coins like this, and uh, I can mark that basically with a. We can probably mark that just with a gray, so we can keep an eye on these coins. Because those are the coins that when they are in profit, we perhaps want to take the profits. Now, the coins that are doing really well at the moment is IOTA. EOS is doing exceptionally well. NEO is doing good. Litecoin is doing well. And then obviously Tron is doing pretty good. So we've got a total of 4.96%. The market is basically just getting started. We are now on 15 September 2018, and we expect to make uh, probably another 23% profit, which will take us to about almost 30% profit. Um, at that point, once we get to the high, just read the report number 60. It's in our back office. When we head to the high, yes, somewhere in September and October, we are going to get out of the market. So make sure you follow those reports. I will upload this Excel spreadsheet in our back office. So when you log into the website, uh, Bitcoin Trend and Forecast, you can go to my account, you click on premium membership, and you will see the file here on the bottom. Have a look under archive reports and you'll see the Excel file. You can download that there. So folks, good luck. Keep it as simple as possible. And, uh, follow these instructions to make sure that you are really in positive gains. You can, it's a great snapshot for you to see where you stand and uh, good luck. Talk to you soon.